Safe water and sanitation are critical. Without it, life is in crisis and can become very unbearable. This video presents the current sanitation situation, some key challenges, concepts and planning approaches that are useful in achieving sustainable sanitation in urban areas. The Millennium Development Goal target, set to halve the proportion of the population without basic sanitation by 2015, was not met. As seen in the graph on the left, the urban population with access to improved sanitation has increased from 79% to 82% between 1990 and 2015. Even though coverage in the urban areas is higher compared to the rural areas, the rapid growth rate and development of slums in urban areas is cause for alarm. As of 2015, it was reported that over 880 million urban residents are still estimated to live in slum conditions, compared to 792 million reported in 2000. As shown in the graph here, the global urban population growth is propelled by the growth of cities of all sizes. It is projected that the world's urban population would have increased from the current 54% to 66% by 2015. These projections show that the world's population would add another 2.5 billion people to urban populations by 2050. The Sustainable Development Goals, particularly the SIT goal, set a very ambitious target to achieve access to adequate and equitable sanitation for all and eliminate open defecation by 2030. In achieving these set targets, it is important to consider sustainability of interventions and developments. The 11th Sustainable Development Goal, which seeks to make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable, factors in this consideration of ensuring sustainability. There are a number of challenges to be considered in achieving sustainable sanitation. First challenge to be considered is the diversity of urban settlements. Urban cities are heterogeneous, especially in developing countries. The diverse nature of the urban and peri-urban settlements, for example, can be a deterrent to provision of sanitation where people have different needs and expectations. In addition, each stakeholder within the community has different needs, expectations and priorities. For example, the local residents prioritize access, convenience and affordability. The community-based organizations prioritize a clean and healthy environment, employment and business. The city authorities prioritize good governance and civic pride embarking on development projects that factor the expectations of all stakeholders could be a daunting task as each one of them would want their needs prioritized. In addressing these challenges, some useful concepts and tools have been developed. The Shit Flow Diagram The Shit Flow Diagram is one of such useful tools which is easily understood and visually communicates how excreta flows through a city or a town. The green parts show how excreta is properly contained and the red path shows excreta lost into the environment due to inefficiency of the, of the system along the whole sanitation chain from containment to disposal or reuse. In this example, it shows that only 21% of excreta from sewers and 10% of excreta from on-site facilities are properly treated and disposed of in the city of Dakar. Urban sanitation has many aspects ranging from technical to social and institutional. Over the past years, provision of urban sanitation has been focused more on infrastructure development. The second concept is a paradigm shift from provision of infrastructure, basically toilets, to a service approach. This concept considers the chain of activities involved in provision of sanitation, which are safe containment, collection, transportation, and disposal reuse. The activities along the chain together form a service which are assessed in terms of accessibility, use, reliability, and environmental protection. The various actors and stakeholders have clearly defined rules and responsibilities in the delivery of the service. Government are usually the lead authority in defining roles and monitoring the services for improvement. The final concept is an incremental approach in achieving sanitation. Strategic incremental approaches to sanitation are emphasized. For example, through planet stage with system upgrades, rather than on all encompassing on-step sanitation approach, which require huge capital investment. 
The essence of the incremental approach is to offer people a choice of improvements over what they already have. For example, an incremental approach can be used to upgrade a pit latrine as the family income increases. They can start with a simple pit and superstructure and upgrade to a poor flush and a more permanent superstructure with time. Finally, this video presents some interesting and useful planning processes. The first process is Sanitation 21, which is an important component of the Global Sanitation Toolkit and presents a framework based on international best practices. This framework was initially developed in 2006 as a tool to help city stakeholders develop appropriate and affordable solutions to sanitation problems. It helps to identify where investments are required, secure the necessary finance for implementation, and enable cost recovery for long-term sustainability of sanitation services. The framework is structured in five main stages, as shown here. The second planning approach is a community-led urban environmental sanitation, popularly called CLOSS. This planning approach builds on a framework which balances the need of people with those of the environment to support humanity and a healthy life. The CLUES approach includes seven planning steps, three cross-cutting tasks relevant to the entire planning process and an enabling environment required for sustainable integration. These two planning processes have different focuses and are applicable in different contexts depending on the situation. The Sanitation 21 focuses on economic and technical aspects for planners and experts with institutional mapping. Therefore, it will be of interest for local authorities, utilities, non-governmental organizations, as well as consultants providing advice about ways to improve sanitation service delivery. The clues, on the other hand, focuses on user involvement, motivation and environmental aspects for everybody who want to participate. The clues is, is geared towards the community level and are meant to complement citywide planning approaches like the Sanitation 21 planning framework. There are more interesting topics and information about urban sanitation that can be found on the Sunana website visit www.susana.org for more interesting reads and join in the discussion on the Susanna Forum at forum.susanna.org. You can also find interesting case studies on various topics related to urban sanitation on the Susanna website. For more information on urban sanitation and useful planning tools, read the following which can be found under Working Group 6 on the Susanna website. Thanks for your attention.